Hey everybody, this is Sergeant Pope, and today I'm reviewing Red Faction Armageddon. Now, like all my other reviews, it's brought to you by Gamefly. So go to Gamefly.com right now, maybe rent this game, buy this game, or, you know, just get a membership altogether from Gamefly, because they have a lot of good services, they help me out a lot, and they can help you out a lot by giving you the games that you want to play. So, let's jump right into this review. Red Faction Armageddon was really fun. I really enjoyed playing Red Faction Guerrilla, and uh, this game... It's pretty similar to that. It's similar, but it's fun, and it's not the same thing. So there's three modes to this game. There's campaign, which is uh, you know campaign you would kind of expect to see. Then there's uh, uh, infestation, and uh, that's kind of like a horde on Gears of War, or kind of like zombies on Call of Duty, but it's not zombies. It's just enemies. But there's waves of uh, waves of enemies that are killing you, and the difficulty and stuff goes up every wave. And uh, then there's ruin mode. Ruin mode is uh, uh, like like you destroy things. Uh, well, that's what the demo that's what the demo was for me at least. Um, it it requires an online pass. Ruin death. the uh, infestation of the campaign doesn't. But ruin mode requires an online pass, which you can buy for ten dollars, or if you buy the game, it'll come with. And uh, if you don't buy the game, like if you rent it, then um, uh, then you get you get you get to play the demo but it's not like the full ruin effect. So uh, I didn't get to play the full ruin effect because I uh, didn't buy the game. But if you do uh, buy the game from Gamefly Used, you will get the online pass, so yeah. Uh, go ahead and buy it if uh, you want to play online pass. Or ruin, not online pass. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> the uh, storyline was really exciting. Uh, campaign was really fun. Uh, never really had a dull moment, although I, I, I kind of just watched the IG interview for this, and uh, they they were just like, there's some dull parts, and I'm like, what the hell are you guys talking about? This game was fun as shit. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I mean, obviously there's opinions and everything, but um, I mean, m most of the reviews, uh, like like the top comments in that video were like, hey, stop dogging on uh, 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 crap, it's uh, the developer of the game is... Uh, v uh, shit, it starts with a V. Violition? Okay, fuck it. it. It doesn't matter. Um, but they're like, hey, why are you doing this? You know, come on, this game's fun. This game is fun. It really had a lot of value and a lot of fun. Uh, difficulty was pretty much just spot on. Um, it wasn't too hard and it wasn't too easy. It gave me a really good challenge, but uh, I didn't die too much. That pissed me off. It didn't piss me off. You know, sometimes sometimes games do piss you off if you die a lot. But not this one. You can pretty much destroy everything in this game. So it's kind of like a Battlefield. If any Battlefield players out there, which there's not many, but uh, if there's some, I guess. But um, you can destroy pretty much anything. Um, and then you can also rebuild it. And uh, that's pretty cool. And, um... Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And if you destroy things, you get uh, salvage. And, um... Yeah. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of collectibles like salvage and uh, uh, there's audio tracks that you can pick up and that uh, goes along with the storyline, tells you uh, some background of what's going on. So that was pretty exciting as well. Um, a lot of weapons in this game give it a lot of variety. Um, you can hold four weapons at once, you know, each direction on the uh, D-pad. And um, that's pretty That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. <laughs> and, um, oh, well, let me talk about this real quick. Uh, salvage, uh, you can use that to get upgrades for your player, like uh, less recoil was one of them, um, more health at lower health, like you get you, you get less damage at lower health, um, more damage for bullets, you know, like stopping power. A lot of upgrades, there's a lot of upgrades, so that's really cool. Um, okay, let's see, it's easy to find where to go. If you press like the back button or th or the uh, select button on PS3, um, then uh, uh, it, it brings up like uh, it brings up a path to go, where to go, and then it brings up uh, if if you're already like where you need to go, then it'll say like kill enemies on top of the screen. So uh, you um, many cases you won't um, be like not knowing where to go, like you always know where to go. So that's really good because there's a lot of games out there that. Are, like they don't give you enough hints on where to go and it's really just frustrating because you don't know where to go you know so yep um let's see what's a con about this game um infestation mode like i said it's a horde 
Um, if you do the matchmaking for it, like you want to be put into someone else's game, then, um, well, I was trying to do that for about five to ten minutes, and I didn't get into a game. It, like, the game, ugh, like, ugh, I got into a game and they kicked me. I, uh, got into a game with, like, three players and, like, the, the host wouldn't start it. Um, just crap like that for ten minutes. So eventually I just started my own game and I had this one guy join, and, uh, then I just started it. I played it with one guy, because it's just really frustrating to get into a game with other people. It's just, ugh. God, it's so annoying. It's kind of like, well, no, it's not like, I, I was going to say it's like playing Uno, but Uno isn't really frustrating. Sometimes it can be, but some most of the time it isn't. Um, so yeah, that's kind of kind of dumb. I didn't really like that. But Infestation was fun. If you have friends, then uh, it's really fun. Really, really cool stuff. So uh, should you rent or should you buy this game? Um, honestly, most people should probably rent this game. Now, Pretty much every shooter out there, like everybody, it, all the viewers here, if you guys are playing Call of Duty, if you guys play Call of Duty, you guys really need to rent this game. It's really exciting to play. Like if you play any shooter, Battlefield, Call of Duty, I don't know, Medal of Honor, you know, any shooter, you need to rent this game. This is a game you must rent. Okay? Now you don't need to buy this game because after you beat the campaign and after you play Infestion a shitload. And then after you play Ruin, which, you know, you probably even can't, um, <laughs> th th then the game kind of gets a little bit dull. I mean, while you're playing this game, and while everything's fresh, it's all like, yeah, let's play some fucking Red Faction Armageddon, man. But then after that, it's just like, oh, okay, let's play some, let's play some Call of Duty, let's play some multiplayer on Call of Duty. So, yeah, rent this game. It's really fun to rent. If uh, you're a crazy fan of the Red Faction series for some reason, there's not much of you out there, but uh, if you are like that, you need to buy this game because it's uh, it will definitely uh, feed your satisfaction of the game because it's a really good game. So, yeah, um, shooter fans will enjoy this game. It's a lot of shooter-up mo uh, movie. I know it's a game. I'm pretty sure it's a game. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, rent this game from Gamefly. Go to Gamefly.com right now and rent this game. Just get a get a subscription going, a one or two game subscription, and then maybe three and four later in your Gamefly life. So yeah, thanks for wa uh, thanks for watching this, guys. Be sure to go to Gamefly, um, like this video, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more reviews just like this, commentaries, gameplays, and a bunch of other great stuff. See you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.